Hi again, I want to show you how to create um, a citation for a photograph, but also to find a photograph that is copyright safe. So first we're going to go to Creative Commons Search. Click here. Here we're going to type in what we're looking for. So I'm going to look for a snowmobile picture. I'm going to click on Google Images. It's the best one so far that I've found for finding safe pictures. So I'm going to look for a picture of a snowmobile. I'm going to choose this one here. So I'm going to click on it. I can drag it over here. Now I've got it. Okay, but I need to get the link. So I'm going to go to visit. I'm going to go to their website. So now I'm going to start by going back to EasyBib. And this time, like normally it's on website, this time I want to go to digital image. So I put in my source. So I go back and get the link. And see, I put it in there. Site. Now it is going to try to do the whole citation for me. However, as we see, it didn't work. So I go create a manual citation. So now I just have to fill in the information myself. So I scroll down and I start by finding the title of the image. So I go back and I think it's this, a security policeman, blah, 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 blah. So I'm going to copy that, paste it in here. Is there a description? No, because basically we've got that title. Okay. We go back. It says the contributor. So we're going to put in here who took a picture. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Who took, a, who took this picture? So we go back. Scene camera operator, Sergeant Jose L. Hernandez. Now, you can copy and paste, but you have to put in each thing. So if you look, we got to go Jose L. Hernandez, Sergeant. Okay. Then we go to the website title. So we go back. The website is called Pickerel. We put that in. Who's the publisher or sponsor? You can usually find this at the bottom of the page right here, developed by Get Archive. So I'm going to put Get Archive in for my sponsor. You can tell I already did this once, but I didn't like the first video. Now I'm going to put in the link. So I'm going to copy this link, Command C and Command V. Oh, try that again. Then we need to know when was it published. So it doesn't actually tell us when this was electronically published. So instead, what I'm going to do is go with the date of the photograph. So it's January 26, 1983. So we're going to put that in. So 26 January 1983. And I'm going to click on Complete Citation. Now, you might be wondering, how did I find all that information so fast? And it's kind of weird information. I just want to remind you. I started going to university in 1993. So I have many, many, many years of experience of creating citations. It's tricky, so if you need help, please ask for help. So I've done this one a few times. This is the appropriate um, citation. So you can click here and look at that. That should copy it. No, nope, that was edit. Whoops, jeez, I thought I figured that out from the last time and of course I did not. Okay, so um, here it is. I'm gonna copy it, Command C, good old Command C, can't go wrong with that. I'm gonna open up um, a Word document, go Command V, there we go. Now you probably noticed I had a reference already there and it was for this photograph. And at first I did it as a photograph, but it's actually a digital image. So I had to change the way I did the source when I was doing it. But you get fairly a fairly similar result. The big difference is that this has the website where I found it. And that's important so that other people can go in, go to that website, and check and see if that's actually where you got your photograph from. So good luck finding photos and creating citations. Make sure you do it. Copyright safe.